Welcome to episode ten twenty nine. Thomas Toll, from poor to movie producer billionaire in Hollywood. This is picture of Thomas Toll and his wife Elba. This is an outline of episode ten twenty nine. To build a new company from scratch must be an incredible accomplishment, or feel like an incredible accomplishment for you. <laughs> well, I, I think that when I first went out. Uh, to raise capital and put it together, I, I think that there were a lot of folks that I met with that thought it was straight up crazy. Uh, I had zero experience in movies and television and in and, and that arena. <clears throat> and my thought process was, free give or take, uh, just the film side. It was, I believe, the country's second biggest export. And yet there was no institutional capital uh, around the... Uh, the, the business, which was highly unusual for a business of that size, there were. Thomas Toll, his five most famous movies. Movie number one, Three Hundred. The year was two thousand and six. He was thirty-six years old. Budget was sixty-five million dollars. The box office was four hundred and fifty-six million. Movie number two, Dark Knight, in two thousand eight. This is his first billion-dollar movie. The budget was one hundred eighty-five million dollars. The box office was more than one billion dollars. His next big hit was Hangover. The year was two thousand and nine. The budget was thirty-five million dollars. The box office, four hundred and sixty-seven million dollars. Here's Mike Tyson and his famous tiger in the movie. Movie number four, Inception. The year was twenty ten. The budget of Inception was $160 million. The box office was $825 million. Movie number five, Jurassic World. This is his last billion dollar hit. The budget was $150 million. The box office, $1.67 billion. This is his biggest hit ever. Well, uh, I grew up a single mom and a very challenging economic uh uh, uh, circumstances, or as we like to say, we were poor. And uh, sports was everything. It was the great equalizer. So I certainly played football, basketball, baseball. Good athlete. He won a football scholarship to Hamilton College. And in 1992, he graduated with a degree in government. His first goal was to be a lawyer. When that didn't work out, he started a chain of laundromats. Next, he was running a tax and accounting service firm. And then he got into private equity and movie financing. In 2000, at the age of 30, he founded Legendary Entertainment. The movie industry, uh, China is going to be the biggest, most important uh, market in the world and we felt like as you look at the future having a partnership with Wanda Group mm -hmm. made sense for us and and you know there's a, there's a couple of pillars that uh, we've built the company on and one is to try to try be forward, to be uh, uh, leaning smart about what's around the corner we, we try at least and uh, certainly China is one of those frontiers mm -hmm. uh, they also are the largest owners of uh, theaters in the world and have been great partners so far. Mm -hmm. What? I'm a laundromat to Toko. How does one go from running a chain of laundromats to becoming one of the top producers in Hollywood? Budget successes like The Dark Knight and Jurassic World, Tull chose to walk away from the bright lights in search of his next venture. Look, for the last four years, uh, I have Tulco, which is my, my holding company, we buy companies and we use artificial intelligence and machine learning to sort of enhance uh, their characteristics and returns, hopefully. Um, and that, that's what I do full time. And so I'm kind of back to my tech and, and finance roots. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Thomas Toll, Eight Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.